People like to be entertained one way or another. Most people like to be entertained by electronics. Like playing video games, starting or watching flame wars, or watching YouTube. Most people don't recognize that without computers, electronics would be drastically different or not even exist. So, to understand computers better, we will go back in time to see its history. <coughs> huh? Who's that? That was the first version of the computer. According to How Stuff Works, before Babbage came along, a computer was a person, someone who sat around all day adding and subtracting numbers and entering the results into tables. What's a Babbage? Not what, who. Babbage was the one who made the first model of the computer. He thought, hey, if us humans could do calculations and math, could machines do it? And wouldn't it be much more accurate? And according to How Stuff Works, Babbage returned to England and decided to build just such a machine. His first version was something he dubbed the Difference Engine, which worked on the principle of finite differences or making complex mathematical calculations by repeated addition without using multiplication or division. He secured government funding in 1824 and spent eight years perfecting his idea. In 1832, he produced a functioning prototype of this table-making machine, only to find his fun funding had run out. Wait, so he didn't build the first computer? You made my brain hurt for no... <laughs> he didn't give up. Instead of making the difference engine more simple, he tried to make a greater invention. That's a terrible idea. But he did it anyway. He wanted the computer to make even bigger calculations, like multiplication and division. Wait, so we didn't put multiplication and division into the first version? Apparently not. Anyways, we still use some parts of the analytical engine. The computer Babbage was working on after the difference engine. This relates to technology. CPU and memory. Oh hey, I know what a CPU is. It's a central processing unit. Correct you are, but the analytical engine existed almost entirely on paper. There were about 5,000 pages worth of work, and he didn't even build a model of it. What? So who sold it? It doesn't say, but it was built in London, 1991. So that's it? Oh no, there is still a lot more to do. <coughs> Hey, what game is that? Huh, oh, all of my friends are playing it. That kind of reminds me of that game, Tennis. Huh? Oh yeah, my dad played that. So, do you have the Mr. Game & Watch or Pac-Man? What's that? AZN, Mr. Game & Watch, and Pac-Man was made in 1980, while Pong was made in 1972. But why can't we play it? Aren't we in a void of imagination? Can we play some game that doesn't exist yet? Like Smash 5? What's Smash? It's a fighting game. No, if we tell him the games of today, the space-time continuum will explode. No. Just. No. Then I'll talk about the first computer game, Space War. Here we go again. Wait, wasn't the first game tennis? Nope. Space War. Space War was played on a computer the size of a CA... Wait, what? That doesn't exist. I looked it up. It's called the PDP-1. Oh, well, the game was actually multiplayer, and you needed to shoot the other ship before the ship hits you. The first commercially available game was Pong, which was like tennis. That game started to make the gaming community, which made arcades pop up. There were Pac-Man and Donkey Kong and much, much more. Those are the most well-known video games, where you pretty much can't win, and the best achievement was to get on the score list. These games are the ones who made technology blow up across the country. I've always hated games like that. 
Also, what about Mr. Game and Watch? Who? I don't know who he is. Why don't you tell me about him? Sure. According to Smash Wiki, you're getting info from there. Seriously? Well, I do what I want. As I was saying, according to Smash Bros. Wiki, Mr. Game and Watch is a composite representation of various generic characters featured in Nintendo's game and watch products and video game series created in 1980 by Gunpei Yokoi. Yoki. All of the characters were the same model and it was the first, the first portable gaming console. Really? If that's true, why don't most people know it? That's because it was discontinued. For some reason, the NES un overtook it despite the fact that the console was non-portable. Portable gaming consoles didn't pop up again until April 21st, 1989. That's almost 10 years since Mr. Game & Watch. It's kind of like the government removing a certain thing because they didn't like it when, like when the emperor burned all the books. Hmm, that is very interesting. You really miss a Game & Watch? Or Pac-Man? Or Donkey Kong? How about Smash? Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's time for us to get going. See you later. So, uh, now what? We still have m one more chapter to go, right? Yeah, let's talk about modern games. Oh boy, which one? How about League of Legends? Sure. LOL was originally a mod for World of Warcraft 3. Then an idea by the end of 2015 formed for the mod to become a standalone game with its own engine. Then Riot Games, the owner of LOL, opened its doors in 2006. The game was announced October 7, 2008. 20 days and a year later, the game was released. By November 2011, the game had 32.5 million players. Wow, really? That's amazing! And that's not all. LOL also won the Golden Joystick Awards twice in a row and its first place in Game Developers Online Choice Awards. This is imperialism in a different way. Instead of a typical conqueror that people tend to think about is conquering land or a country, LOL took over the video game world. Wow, that's a huge feat! wonder what it's like for the developers. So, that's it? Yep, that's it. You're lucky we're not talking about Fortnite. Yes, I am. And that was the history of computer games and the computer itself. In summary, the first computer was, in many ways, built by Babbage. The first game was run on a computer the size of a car and League of Legends the game with more players than Fortnite started as a mod. So if you ever want to play Fortnite, thank Babbage. Hey, that should be a new catchphrase.